Dara, congratulations on another brilliant win. Firstly, the, the choke, it look, almost looked like he tapped earlier before he actually went out. Did you feel that? Was there a bit of a Brazilian tap there? Um, I, I didn't feel him tap, but uh, I said to Dan, I said he's out. He, yeah, I felt his body go limp, I uh, felt all the effort go out of him. And uh, Dan says, no he's not. Two seconds later, now he's out and he's gargling. So. Oftentimes, you know, you're undefeated, you've got many finishes, but sometimes you're not, you're, you know, you're your own worst critic. Are you happy with that performance? Can you actually celebrate it this time? Finally, finally we got one we're happy with, but it's been a long time coming. You know, as I said in the cage, I feel like I've, I've started to my own self, you know, I made them, I'm putting it down to moving the featherweight. I said I've lost height, my performances haven't been spectacular, not living up to who I am at all. Um, that's been very frustrating for me, you know, I needed to go out and show what I'm capable of. And I know it's short, but, you know, that's the standard I want to strive for in every fight, and I feel like, Going to featherweight, as I said, it, it just wasn't the right fit for me. I'm just a wee bit too big, and I'm back at 100% lightweight, and I only realised how much better I'm lightweight since I've come back. I'm stronger, I'm, I'm more durable, I'm, I'm more explosive, I'm hungrier. It's just, I'm just I'm back now, and this is it. I was reminding everyone. Do you plan to stay at lightweight now for the foreseeable? 100% staying at lightweight. Like, I started this camp in 87 kilos, so... What was it that you were looking to show out there? You know, it's it's mad to hear someone who's winning. You know, when a fighter's coming off a loss, it's understandable to, to see them be hard on themselves. But when you're winning and you're still, you know, looking for more, what were you looking for coming into this fight? <laughs> As I said, in the cage, I actually like. My whole style is like, I'm, I'm loving my striking, like I'm, I'm training uh, two or three times a week private sessions down in the Fighter Boxing Club with uh, Jordan Murr and I'm just loving the whole, I feel myself level up almost every session and uh, it's really built up a hunger in me to really, you know, I've got power in my hands and I can't wait to show it and I thought this was going to be the time but and across Next the cage, James Terry fighting out of the red corner. I spoke to you uh, last week, you, Sinead, and Nathan. I said there was going to be knockouts, there was going to be fight, there was going to be finishes. We've seen three Irish fighters already. There's been three stoppages in the first round, all by submission. Is that to, down to the three arena crowd, do you think? Well, the three arena crowd in the setting? Oh, that, that's that's a big part of it, you know. That, that crowd's lively tonight, you know. This is my fifth Bellator show I've fought here. I think that's the liveliest I've ever been, you know, they've ever been. I know I'm on the main card this time round, but they really were fucking lively tonight. Like. How much does that make a difference to you to be oh, on the actual main card? A massive difference, you know. It just shows they have a bit of faith, faith in me. Like, they're not putting me on the main card for no reason. Um, yeah, I, I just had to go out and, and show them I was, I was worthy of it, so that's what, what I what, What's next? I just called for that Paris card in November, you know, so I need activity. As I said, I took out a big French prospect there in, what, a minute? Give me another one and uh, let's see who the best crowd is, Dublin or Paris. And then final one for me then, you called out your own fans coming down, making the journey down. What's your message for them? Oh, I can't thank each and every one of them enough. Do you know, it's not fucking, it's not cheap to come down here from Donegal. Like you're, you're driving four hours, you spend two, three hundred euro on a hotel to stay down to watch me fight for a minute. I can't thank them enough. Well done, Darren. Yeah, nice one. Darren, Mauvier Mahler certainly proved that nickname once again tonight. Uh, how did it feel to get back into the cage after a short layoff? You know, as I said, like my last fight was September. It's 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 just too too much too long in between fights for me. It almost feels like it's this massive occasion uh, every time I get back in there because I'm not used to the environment. It's probably the most nervous I've ever been before a fight, but you know, it's just it's just brilliant to get in there, get comfortable in there. I just need activity now. And we're expecting the crowd to be switched lively for it when you're walking out. To be honest, uh, I I wasn't. Uh, I seen they had a bit of the stands closed off and, and then. It was more than I ever expected to see how they did the work. Yeah, well, uh, I can't, you can't rate too. So you can't. Uh, <laughs> you can't rate it. You can't take many things away from it. It didn't last long. Don't think I made too many mistakes. Um, now he did take me down, but if, uh, one of my plans was to attack the neck the whole way. Uh, he defended the first effort well, but I felt the bite I had on his neck was that deep. I wasn't going to let go of it straight away. I knew he might take me down a few more times, but eventually I would sink it deep, and I got it in the second or third attempt, so I knew it was worth risking a wee bit on it. I'll go home, get showered up, and get out in the pints now with all the boys, and, you know, maybe a wee holiday for myself, my girlfriend, enjoy a week or two, and then head straight back down.
Yeah. Thanks, Connor. Thanks. Darry. You were talking about wanting to stay active. Uh, all of your fights have been under the Bellator banner, not the yeah, PFL yeah, yet. Yeah. Obviously, there's new opportunities now. Uh -huh. Do you eye up those European tournaments? Would you like something like that, or, or what are you thinking in that regard? Yeah, like, you know, if I could get into that European tournament, why not? You know, I'm guaranteed fights then, if, as long as I can win, and that's up to me, which, you know, I love when everything's in my control, and, you know, so either that or just keep me active, switch me up. Like Nathan Kelly, you know, switch me up in between the promotions and let me... Let me uh, let me get going. Let me gain momentum, and you know, same as Nathan. That's what I want. Thanks, sir. Yeah, nice one.